Welcome to It's Your Case, presented by VetCT.com. I'm Amy Zaltzman, your radiologist on demand for this week. This month's theme is No Bones About It. Today's example is a three and a half year old male neutered cat that has a left pelvic lameness of seven and a half weeks duration. He initially presented with a wound, both proximal and caudal to the tarsus, and was treated with Medicam and Convenia injection. Convenia is an antibiotic. He has continued to receive Medicam, an anti-inflammatory, until recheck approximately one week ago. A lump is now palpable on the calcaneum tendon, and he is still lame despite continued Medicam. He has a plantigrade stance and possible contracture of the muscles or tendons in this region. This is the right pelvic limb and now we're going through the left. There is marked soft tissue swelling along the region of the calcanean tendon, also known as the Achilles tendon, and this obscures the calcaneal bursa. There is no evidence of bony changes along the calcanean tuber or changes along the tarsus, as well as in the initial view of the pelvis and stifles, we did not observe any changes. The right tarsus is within normal limits for osseous margins. There's no evidence of intercapsular soft tissue to suggest effusion or regional soft tissue swelling. And the position is approximately comparable to assess that there is definitive thickening of the calcaneum tendon. When we evaluate for the integrity and tension across the tendon, what we want to do is put it under increased strain. And the way that we are going to do that is by hyperflexing or flexing the tarsus, which we've done in this view, to put this tissue under increased tension. And what we observe is that there is persistent thickening throughout this region with that undulation of the caudal margin. We do not have a comparable view of the right tarsus to definitively confirm this. However, this does strongly fit with a historical calcanean tendon injury, which can be something like a complete rupture or partial rupture. Uh, given the presence of a prior wound, we also have to consider an abscess as well. These patients often present with a plantigrade stance, which was also described by this individual, in this individual, I should say. The next steps for evaluation can include a, so a high resolution, highly skilled son sonogram of the region to assess for disruption of the muscle, of the tendon fibers. This can be really important as we're also evaluating healing. So as we choose an intervention method, sometimes there are injections that can be done directly into the tendon or there can be um, surgical interventions. There are a number of different ways that these cases are managed, but sonogram can provide serial evaluation in a non-invasive way that does not require anesthesia. Be sure to view the full report with this case. Thanks for listening, and remember, it's your case, so please post your questions on social media.